So uh, uh, this is what's called the backend dashboard of a WordPress site. So you need to first set up a WordPress.com account as you would head up, set up any account, password, uh, uh, confirm your email address. Once you've done that, this is what you will see as an administrator for the blog or the website. Uh, it's going gonna, it's gonna to allow you to make changes on it. And uh, there are two basic aspects to this dashboard. There's something called a reader, which gives you access to all these other WordPress sites around the world um, and uh, will enable you to basically communicate with other people who do WordPress blogs <clears throat> on WordPress.com. Now, the, the quality varies. Uh, many of these sites are hobbies, but uh, there are many, many, and there are literally millions of these sites. It's this a huge footprint of WordPress.com across the internet. Uh, there are business-oriented sites that do quite a good job, uh, as uh, are nonprofits and solopreneurs. So, so some of the links that I found as references for my presentations have been from, from the reader aspect of uh, WordPress.com. But we're going to spend most of our time on my sites, which is where you're going to find uh, uh, where you're going to find the directory for your sites to uh, to actually input content. So we're going to come back to uh, this template site that I've done and take a look at. We're going to look at the the front end, how the site looks on the web, how I've constructed it, and why it's useful. And then we're going to go back to the back end. So it is set up as a blog. So uh, it has a title, top of mind tips on marketing. And then as we scroll down, I've got a sticky introductory article on the purpose about me. But it's basically uh, articles about to showcase my expertise in marketing. So here I've attended a market expo in New York, some pictures from my trip, takeaways from the expo. So it, the idea is to give the reader an idea that that Gary's on top of marketing. He's he's enriching his expertise. He's going places. He's uh, attending uh, professional expos in in his marketing field. But like our lighthouse example, I also there's a personal element. So and this is reflective of me personally. I'm a Toastmasters member. I've done it for years. It's a club to do practice uh, public speaking. Uh, so this is something that uh, occasionally I'll report on speeches. Well, I can put it here in my blog. Public speaking is not irrelevant to marketing, uh, but it's more of a personal hobby and gives a little bit more interest on myself and what I'm interested in. And then launch of an ebook. In here, uh, we have a summary of a, an ebook that I've done to uh, put my expertise in sort of a, a snapshot published form. And uh, you can sell this. And there's, I've got a code here and a button linked to PayPal to actually allow that to happen. I could go further and actually market consulting services and turn a what is mostly a blog site into a solopreneur site. And then favorite PC tools. And I've got various categories. There's one of the Toastmasters speeches that I, I actually did give recently on the Battle of Caltens. Uh, and then things like logo styles. Uh, an element of this, which is interesting, is uh, I have categories of the articles. So these are easily retrievable and searchable. So if I click on branding, it's just gonna it's gonna pop up all the articles on branding that I have on my sort of newslettery like uh, blog. And this is also uh, it pops up on my this upper menu. So if this is by category of the blog articles are doing, so it gives the reader an idea, well, he's a marketing expert. Well, wh where is he a marketing expert in? So the, these are the areas that strategy, audience, and branding. Uh, so if I click on audience, it's going to give me the articles that I have that have to do with uh, audience research. If I click on branding, 
it's going to bring up what I just showed you, which are these uh, logo styles with the, the dental example, branding concepts. So I've by having categories, uh, it gets to the issue of, of a lot of work. You can reuse content within your website. You can reuse social media content by linking it uh, here. So for example, here's my, my LinkedIn profile, uh, which, uh, which people can see my background. And if I go to uh, Twitter, uh, I'll, it'll link to my Twitter site, my Twitter profile, uh, giving my background on Twitter. And again, again, to the reuse idea, you can link your, your WordPress web website so that when you do these articles, they're automatically pushed out to your social media connections. And that's a, in a summary form. And that's a, that's a powerful way to have your, uh, your content being really replicated across the digital world. Makes for a powerful impact. Uh, Gary, I'll just also add that uh, when you, if you decide to go down this path and you want to create content and then link it to your social media platforms, those are platforms, particularly platforms like LinkedIn, where people are constantly looking at how active you are. And, um, you know, getting people, you know, posting content and then asking someone what they think about it is another way to actively and strategically engage people. Absolutely. Absolutely. And you, you're going to need to maintain your social media uh, conversations uh, also in, independently of your website. It's not just a question of pumping out content from your blog. It, the, the whole idea of social media is a two-way conversation, right? And comments and back and forth. So it's a it's a, a complementary kind of a thing. Now be selective on on your social media. So you don't have to be everywhere. So maybe a LinkedIn, uh, I suggest maybe just pick one social media tool that really does the job for you. LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, whatever, and then flesh out and expand as you grow. But when you put the website and appropriate social media links, it's a it's a very powerful mechanism. So another thing you can do on your website is I'm going down the menu here. You can have little graphics. Uh, this is a graphic that I actually used in my when I was doing pro bono consulting prior to launching the business. And you can use uh, 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 some blocks that in a very succinct way, we'll explain your, your consulting methodology and approach. This, the idea of these shaded blocks and the connecting framework is, that is a mini template built in a block. So I didn't create that, I just edited it with my, my, own, uh, my own input. And then you can also embed videos, this is powerful. Um, you see, you see the, and my thanks to 40 plus, they've done a great job, uh, Gaddafi Sabri in editing down some past content when I did this presentation last September. And so embedding videos of, uh, of your work, presentations maybe you've given, or maybe presentations others have given can be very powerful. Okay, events. This is a good uh, page to look at because it showcases some uh, some of the capability in WordPress. So I've used a, a, a quote here, and then the layout is done with, with, it, with the capability of using blocks in WordPress that literally allow you to space out content. In this case, I've used some blue shading. I've done some links. Uh, that's all done with the, the assistance of, of blocks. Okay. 